word processing. Word processing is basically a process uh, with which we can uh, create a new document, we can edit that document and so on, N number of operations we can perform on that word document. So, basic operations like basic word processing operations include editing and saving the files, using the clipboard, recognizing the user interface features, spell check and printing files. So, number of operations like we can uh, just uh, after creating that uh, document we can save it so that we can further uh, read or we can modify that file, then we can copy the content on the clipboard. We can recognize number of uh, user interface features uh, like uh, on the ribbon there are several options like uh, for uh, giving the formatting to that document content as well as we can check the spellings, we can uh, print the files which are created with the help of that word. There are several objectives and skills for basic word processing concepts such as uh, creating a new document. While uh, enter uh, enter the text, then uh, delete, save, save as such kind of operation we can perform on it. Then using a basic edit features like cut, copy, paste, identifying the features like the toolbar, uh, toolbar icons, then a cursor. Then using the dictionaries for uh, checking the spellings if any kind of errors are there, spelling errors are there. Then operate print uh, such as print preview. So, basic word processing is uh, the use of the program running on a computer that allows users to create, edit, format and the and storing the documents. So, first of all we will see how to create a document. So, the uh, very first step is to we have to start the Microsoft Word, then after that Microsoft Word opens we have to click on the file tab, then we have to go to the new tab, then Next is to click on the blank document. So, a new blank document appears on our screen. Then we can type a text whatever the text we want to insert in our document. So, the text you, we uh, type will be inserted in, uh, into our document. Next is how to edit a document. So, editing that means uh, if you are inserting any kind of text in that uh, document, we can make changes into uh, that content. So, editing a document that means making revisions to a document, focusing on the correcting errors, improving the accuracy of the language, rearranging the content, making uh, words different words and sentences, uh, sentences clearing and more effective ways to make your content that will be easily understandable to the reader. Editing in a word processing that can include number of tasks uh, like adding a text, deleting a part of that text, we can copy the text, we can move that text, paste text to another place, we can check the grammar and spell the spellings, then we can also format the text. First of all, we see how to select the text into a word document. So, before editing a text, we need to select that particular text. So, this is also sometimes called as highlighting the text. So, for that, we need to click on the file explorer icon, go to the location where it stores your file or a folder, whether on your uh, hard drive or your, on your USB drive. So, then we have to open the document that we want to edit. Then we have to move the I beam pointer that is the I like uh, symbol is there to where we want to select the text. To select a word, we have to double click the, on that word. To select an entire line of the text, we have to move the I beam to the left of that line until it turns into a right pointing arrow. Then we have to click, okay. That click we can perform with the help of our mouse. So, to select a paragraph, we, we have to uh, triple click the paragraph to select any amount of text. We have to click and drag the I beam over the text to highlight it. Whatever the text we want to edit, we can just select that amount of text with the help of that pointer. So, to select an entire document, move the I beam to the left of any text until it turns into a right pointing arrow and then triple click or click the home tab under the editing option. And we have to just select that is we have to click the select and then click select all. Then all the 
text on your document will be selected. Next, we'll explore how to delete a text into your document. So there are two methods basically. So we'll see the first method that is we have to select the text that we want to delete, and we just simply need to press a delete key on your keyboard. Then method two is we have to just select that particular text and then move the I beam pointer to the text you, that we want to delete. Then click to set the insertion uh, pointer there and uh, that uh, particular blinking vertical line you can see in that image okay with the help of that we can select the text then to delete that selected text to the left of the insertion point we just have to press the backspace key on the keyboard okay uh, on the uh, mac keyboard that uh, we have to use the delete key for uh, deleting that particular uh, text so to delete the text to the right of the insertion point, press the delete key on the keyboard. So for deleting the left of the insertion point, we have to use the backspace key and for deleting the right of the insertion point, we have to press the delete key. Next we will see how to copy and paste the content of that document. So, uh, there are two things that is copy versus cut. What exactly the copy is? It duplicates the selected item that is that can be a text, it can be a symbol, a table or any image while cut removes the selected item from its original position. Okay. So, with the help of this uh, copy action, there will be two or more copies of the same content while with this cut or action, we can just remove that particular content from one location to the another location. Copy and paste versus the cut and paste option. So, the copy and paste is basically duplicates the selected item. The selected item can be found in both the original as well as the new pasted location. So, that there can be multiple copies of the particular text when we use the copy and paste option. While in cut and paste, it duplicates the selected item, then deletes the original. The selected text can be found only at the new pasted location because it will get deleted permanently or from that particular place. Okay, We can just take that uh, text back or just revert back that operation with the help of undo and redo options are there on your uh, Microsoft Word. Next, we will see how to copy or cut paste a particular content in your word document. So, method one is we have to open the document that we want to edit then select the item we want to copy or cut. So, right click on the highlighted item and then click copy or cut. So, we can also use the keyboard shortcuts like for copying we can use the control plus C on Mac a keyboard there is a CMD plus C option. And uh, for a cut action, we have to use the control plus X while on Mac keyboard, there is option CMD plus X that we have to perform for copy and cut actions. And the position of the insertion point where we want to insert the item, we can uh, just uh, go to that particular position, then right click and just paste there is there will be the paste uh, icon, we just have to click on that paste icon. So, we can also use the keyboard shortcuts like control V. Okay. Either we can use that paste icon or we can use the keyboard shortcuts like control plus V to paste the copied or cut content. Next method is to um, cut paste the particular uh, content from your document is the open the document that we want to edit. Then select the item we want to copy or cut. Then from the home tab at the top of your uh, ribbon, we can see there is a copy button. Okay, So, with that copy button or copy icon, we can copy the content in your uh, file. Then position the insertion point where we want to insert the item. So, we just need to place our pointer on, on our document where we want to paste that particular copied content. Under the home tab at the top, click the paste button. So, just um, below the cut option there is the 
uh, just right uh, left of the uh, cut and copy option there is a paste option then how can we review a particular document that means if we uh, have uh, designed a particular document we have inserted some text if there are some uh, spelling or grammar mistakes so we need to review uh, that document so for that there is there are again two methods that is method one open the document that we want to edit the second step is right click a word that is underlined with a wavy line so in that particular image we can also see there is a spelling mistake in the word document okay thus uh, the wrong spelling is that is d a c u m e n t okay instead of that there is a suggestion that is a right suggestion for the spelling correction is given that is a document okay so that we just need to um, say we need just need to find out which kind of uh, er error or the spelling mistake is there on that particular document then we just have to click the review tab then spelling and grammar check that we have to perform for uh, finding out the spelling and grammar errors in, into your documents then method 2 is after opening that uh, document that we have we have to uh, edit so we just have to go to the review tab then click the editor button which is there on the uh, left hand side of the screen okay uh, just below the file you can see uh, if we have just click that editor button if the program finds the spelling errors and the spelling and grammar pane will appear there so click on the option from the suggestion list to change the spelling error okay it will gives you the option to find out the correct word for that particular content okay next we'll see the find finding out the synonyms so again there are two me methods for finding out the synonyms that means we can find out the similar words for the particular word in your document so method 1 is after opening the document we just have to right click on a word for which we want to find out the synonym then click the synonyms command from the pop out menu then it will gives you the option to finding out the synonyms for the particular word then we have to find a desired word in the list and click it to replace the original word so if none of the synonyms are desired so click the tagers uh, command to open the full tagers okay so this tagers is basically used to find out the similar words for that particular word in your document so find a desired word in the tagers pen uh, list the writer uh, right click it and then click the insert option then we have to just close that pen here we can see in the image there is a tagers pen in into that we can find out the uh, word suppose in the in the left figure you can see the synonyms option okay synonyms option with the, with the help of which we can find out the similar uh, word for the particular word as well as with the help of this tagers pen we can find out the similar word for the same word in the in your content then method 2 is open the document that is we want to edit select a word for which you we want to uh, find out the uh, tagers option so click the review tab then uh, tap then click the tagers button okay so for that again the similar words will appear on that pen after finding out the desired word we can just click on that word then the original word will get replaced with the new word okay we just have to click the insert button next we'll learn how to save a document okay after entering a text into your document after making some kind of changes if we want to uh, use or read that particular file later okay in a future then we need to save that particular document right so saving the document is a very important step that is to be executed right after the addition of the some content in your document so this is done to prevent the loss of the data that might occur because of power cuts or some kind of system failure so there are multiple ways provided by the ms word that is microsoft word to save a file or a document with or without a name specified by the user so we'll see how to save the document method 1 is 
saving a file with the file menu so to save a document using the options which are provided by the microsoft word in its file menu just go through the uh, given steps like step one is just click on the file menu we just have to click on the file menu then after that we have to go to the save option or the save as option okay so there are two options for saving the document after that we need to select the locations where we want to uh, save our file so we just need to find out that location we just need to browse it then next we have to provide a name to our file okay so or we can just use the default one that will be provided by the microsoft word after providing the name we just need to click on the save button so our document will get saved next method is by using the shortcut keys on your computer okay so the uh, second method that is a microsoft word allows us to use the shortcut keys in case we don't want to go through the process of clicking on file menu and then selecting the save that is a kind of a lengthy process so instead of that we can just use the shortcut keys so there are some steps given like the first of all we we can use the option that is control plus s to save the text in your document so to enter the save as menu after the creation of the new file next step 2 we just have to follow these previous steps that means after uh, saving that uh, using the option save or save as we have to find out the location okay where we want to save that particular file then we have to give name to that file then after then our file will be saved in our computer next is how to open an existing document if we have already created any document later on we want to open it okay if we want to make some changes in that we want to uh, do some formatting into the text of that particular document so we can uh, just how to open that particular document we just need to uh, go to the home tab and then click the open uh, option then we have to select this pc option then we have to select the browse okay so that browse will allows you to find out the location where you have uh, stored your file the open dialog box will appear then locate and select your document then click just open okay so from the given list of the uh, folders we can select where we have uh, stored or saved our file so based on that we can just select that particular folder into that we can select the file and then we just need to click the open so our document will get open next we'll explore how to format the document so formatting the document that is the appearance of the document that means we are making some changes into the text we can uh, change the uh, size of the text we can change the color we can highlight a particular text so it is the uh, the formatting will consist of the shape changing the shape the size uh, then style typeface general arrangement of the text in the document so formatted text can we draw the readers attention to specific parts of the document and emphasize the important information so we just highlight what is important in that particular document instead of reading the whole document so in in word you have just several options for adjusting the uh, text including the font the size the color we can also adjust the alignment of the text to change how it is displayed on the page we can just justify the text in our document so the uh, procedure is for just uh, modifying the uh, text in your document we just need to select the text that we want to change we want to modify okay in the uh, figure you can see in the image given we can see that is the for rent this text is selected okay that i want to modify so on the home tab we just need to click the font size drop down arrow you can see in the image that's and then we have to select a font size from that menu if the font size we want uh, we need it is not available in the menu we can click the font size box and type the desired size we want to uh, put for our uh, text then we just need to press the enter then the font size will get reflected in our document 
then font size will be changed in your document we can see as we have changed the font size the uh, font is uh, seems bigger in the next picture okay then we can also use the grow font and shrink font commands to change the font size okay uh, we can see the bigger and smaller a is there just below the design tab that are nothing but the grow font and the shrink font options or the commands that are used to change the font size of the text to change the font by default the font of each and uh, each and every new document of the um, word is the calibri it is said to be calibri so however word provides many other fonts we can use to customize this text we just need to select the text that we want to modify in the image you can see that foreign is selected so open the home tab from that home tab we just need to click the drop down arrow that is just next to the font box the menu of the font style will appear so we just have to select the font style that we want to apply on your text okay there are many uh, font styles are available any one of them we can use for our text the font style will be changed in the document after selecting any one of the font style that we want to apply for our document next is to change the font color so select the text that we want to modify we just need to follow the same procedure that is go to the home tab then font color uh, drop down arrow we have to select then we have to uh, use the font color menu that will appear then we just need to choose the color that we want to use for our text okay after selecting a particular uh, color that will be reflected in your content then color choices are not limited to the drop down menu that appears so we can also select more colors option at the bottom of the menu to the access the colors dialog box so choose the color we want and then we just need to click the okay then that color will be get reflected to your content next is to use the bold italic and underline commands which are basically used to uh, give uh, provide the formatting to that particular text in your document so that will uh, uh, gain the attention of the reader so the bold italic and underline commands can be used to help draw attention to the important words or phrases in your document we just need to select the text that we want to modify for uh, performing this bold italic and underline commands so on the home tab we just need to click the bold if you want to uh, make our text bold if you want to make it italics or we want to underline the text so according to that we need to select the options okay from the font group in our ribbon so in our example we have selected the bold option okay so that will just uh, make the text bold then next we'll explore how to change the text case of your content so when we need to quickly change the text case we can use the change case command instead of deleting and retyping the text okay so whatever the text you have inserted in your document so if we want to make changes into the case of that particular uh, text so that will be performed with the help of this change case command so on the home tab we can find the change case command in again the font group a drop down menu will appear so we just need to select the desired case option from that menu next is to highlight the text so for highlighting can be uh, basically use full for uh, marking the important text in your document so from the home tab we just need to click the text highlight color and drop down arrow and the highlight color menu will appear so from that we can choose the color that we want to use for highlighting our text so after selecting that that will be reflected in our document text so the desired highlight color if you are selected so the selected text will then be highlighted in the document so in in the given image you can see there is a double click cell b 
okay this text is highlighted with the yellow color this is the result of the highlighting the text next if we want to remove that highlighting so we need to select the highlighted text which we have highlighted earlier so then just uh, click the text highlight color drop down arrow and from that we need to select no color option from that drop down menu so it will revert back the highlighted uh, results from your content next is how to change the text alignment if we have added the text in your document we want to change its alignment on the center or if you want to move it to the right or left so that we can perform with the help of this text alignment options so by default the word aligns to the left margin in a new documents so if there may be uh, sometimes when we uh, want to adjust this text alignment to the center or right so for that we can use this text alignment option so we uh, have just need to select the text that we want to modify that we want to align after selecting that text we need to go to the home tab then select one of the four alignment options from the paragraph group in our example we have select we have selected the center alignment so our text will be aligned in the center of our document okay so in the resulting image you can see the changes that our text is realigned at the center thank you